the light is fading, so we're gonna try to get through this. Hey internet, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. My good friend Alice from the channel Alice Red tagged me to do the TMI challenge today. Before I get started, if you don't know who Alice is and you don't watch her stuff, you have to go over there and watch it. She makes amazing content and it's so beautiful and so well thought out and you will love it. All right, so the TMI tag is a set of questions and I'm gonna answer them for you, so let's start. Question number one, what are you wearing? I am wearing a sweater and these like comfy pants that I just got at Target and they're real comfy like. Immediately on to question number two, have you ever been in love? Yes, once. Question three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? I don't think that any of my breakups have been terrible. I feel like the one in particular was pretty bad for a long period of time, but just on my end. But for the most part, everyone that I've been in a relationship with, I've been able to maintain a friendship with for a little bit, at least after we broke up. But then, you know, some people you just grow apart. Question four, how tall are you? I am five foot three inches on a good day. Five, how much do you weigh? Honestly, I don't really know right now. I don't own a scale and I've been fluctuating within like a range of 15 pounds this whole year, so who knows. Number six, do you have any tattoos? I have one tattoo. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys before. It is my son. Uh, and I would really like to get more. Seven, do you have any piercings? I do, I have two in each ear. The reason I sometimes only wear them in my top hole is because my bottom holes are crooked because you should never get your ears pierced at Claire's. Eight, who is your OTP? I, uh, I don't really have an OTP. I don't really do that very much. Uh, if I had to choose, it would probably be uh, Christian and Satine from Moulin Rouge because that is a love story that I love so much. Also probably 10 in Rose. Question nine, what is your favorite show? I think I'd probably have to say Walking Dead. That's the one that I follow the most even though I'm so far behind. It's probably a tie between Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. 10, what are your favorite bands? I don't know, I have a favorite artist. Sarah Bareilles is my favorite artist. Question 11, what is something you miss? I think I'm gonna go with the thing that I miss the most right now is having friends close by. 12, what is your favorite song? I've been really into Waitress lately, but I think overall favorite songs, it would be Between Gravity by Sarah Bareilles and Come What May from the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Question 13, how old are you? I am 25 years old as I remind everyone all of the time. Question 14, what is your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus, but if you wanna get real technical, I'm almost on the cusp of Aries Taurus. Question 15, what is a quality that you look for in a partner? I think this boils down to intelligence and humor. I really like to be able to have intelligent conversations with people and I love to laugh and if you can do both, we're good to go. Question 16, what is your favorite quote? The one that I have in my Twitter bio is dwell in possibility or I dwell in possibility from Emily Dickinson. Uh, I think that is one that just stuck with me. And so, yeah. Question 17, who is your favorite actor? Oh, this is so hard. I really like Ryan Gosling for obvious reasons. Question 18, what is your favorite color? It used to be green. It's kind of shifted a little bit towards purple. Question 19, do you like loud music or soft? I tend to steer towards soft music. I like music that is more like soothing to the soul, um, but on a good hour and a half drive that I do home to the shore, I will be known to belt out some loud music. Question 20, where do you go when you're sad? Probably to the farm. Question 21, how long does it take you to shower? Maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending. Question 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I really hate waking up in the morning, so normally I have like 10 to 15 minutes to get ready in the morning. Question 23, have you ever been in a physical fight? No, uh, verbal confrontation makes me feel physically sick and more so physical fights. But if you count my brother elbowing me when I was in second grade in the nose and making my nose bleed, then yeah. Question 24, what is a turn on? Oh dear, um, I really like when people talk very passionately about what they are passionate about. I think it's adorable. Question 25, what is a turn off? Probably lack of empathy. Question 26, why did you join YouTube? There's a lot of different reasons, but I think it boils down to wanting to share my life and have something to look back on. 
So we're gonna pretend for a second that this is obviously the same day and I totally didn't forget to answer five different questions on this list. Question 27, what are your fears? I think that nearly all of my real fears that aren't irrational boil down to this fear of isolation and loneliness. Question 28, what is the last thing that made you cry? Probably a movie? I don't really remember. I haven't cried a lot lately. Question 29, when is the last time you said you love someone? It must have been sometime over Thanksgiving. I would have said I love you to Taylor. I've said I love you to people on the internet recently. I don't know. Question 30, what is the meaning behind your YouTube name? My YouTube name is Abby. My name is Abby. Question 31, what is the last book you read? I haven't had much time lately to read things, but I think the last book that I finished was the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script. Question 32, what book are you currently reading? I'm currently in the middle of reading The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, and I love the Kingkiller Chronicles. They're so good. If you haven't read Name of the Wind or Wise Man's Fear, read this. Question 33, what is the last thing that you watched? Gilmore Girls. Question 34, who is the last person that you talked to? The cashier at Target, because I was there earlier today. Question 35, what is the relationship between you and the last person that you texted? The last person I texted was my oldest brother, Luke. Question 36, what is your favorite food? I have a lot of different answers for this question, but probably chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Question 37, where is a place that you want to visit? Anywhere that I haven't been, I have a map on my computer of all of the states that I haven't been to. I want to go all over the world. I really want to go to more places in Europe. Question 38, where is the last place that you were? That question is worded weirdly. I was a target. <laughs> question 39, do you have a crush? Not a realistic one. Question 40, when is the last time that you kissed someone? I kissed Taylor on the cheek on camera on Thanksgiving Eve. Question 41, when is the last time that you were insulted? I don't get insulted very frequently. Uh, probably some bad comment on my how to find a British guy to date video, and that's been a long time, so yeah. It's, I don't know. Question 42, what is your favorite flavor of sweet? Now this was clearly written by a British person. I'm assuming that it's candy, and if it's that case, it would be either strawberry or cherry. Question 43, what instruments do you play? I learned piano when I was younger, so I can play a little bit of that. I can play a little bit of ukulele and a little bit of guitar. That's about it. Question 44, what is your favorite piece of jewelry? If I had read this list before I started filming this video, I would have already had it with me, but I'll insert a clip. It is my necklace that is an anatomical heart. Question 45, what is the last sport that you played? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Question 46, what is the last song that you sang? I've been trying to come up with cat-related words to rewrite All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey, so that song. Question 47, which contains a quintessential British phrase, what is your favorite chat-up line? I don't have chat-up lines. I don't know. Uh, I'm bad at that. Question 48, have you ever used it? I'm bad at that. Question 49, when is the last time that you hung out with someone? Uh, the last time I hung out with someone in person was last Saturday when Andy and I went to see Fantastic Beasts. Other than that, it's just been family and people at work. And question 50, who should answer these questions next? I don't like tagging people, so if you wanna do it, you can do it. Yeah. Oh man, that was 50 questions. So maybe you learned something about me today. Maybe you didn't, I don't know. Let me know down below. Was there anything in my answers that you were surprised to hear? Also, let me know if you wanna do this tag. I'll leave the questions and stuff in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4.